The Rock's daughter gets death threats. With the Rock's return and apparent bullying of Cody Rhodes out of the uh, finishing of his story at WrestleMania 40 has brought out all the, you know, the incels and the nut jobs and the just generally unbalanced shut-ins in the wrestling community to come together and send The Rock's daughter, Simone Garcia Johnson, who currently is the NXT GM under the name Ava, death threats. Now, wait a minute. Now, that is kind of suspicious now, too. That, She's the head of a NXT. Weird, isn't it? Yeah. Now it's getting deeper. She's the head of NXT. Rock is at the head of uh, WWE on the board, main event, WrestleMania. Wait a minute. I haven't really thought about this. But that adds a different deal, a deal to wrestling fans that the, um, Ari Emanuel and Nick Khan are going to find out that this wrestling fan base is kind of nuts because when you start getting death threats on a wrestling show, you're, you're touching some hearts and minds somewhere and in a, in a bad way. So let's hope it doesn't go that far. Well, apparently uh, Ava received death threats to the point that she has deactivated all of her social media accounts. Are we at peak sadness of humanity that people are so butthurt over fucking wrestling that they wish death upon the rock's daughter. Yeah, that's not right. Now, it's interesting to me, but I damn sure ain't going to think about hurting someone or even talking sharply to them. It, it, is, it is what it is. And I'm, they actually made me a wrestling fan over again. Now I want to see, now I want to see the rest of the story. Tell me, and I keep bringing up uh, Puerto Rico. That's the way I booked because the story never ended and it, it just kept going. I just added new people in and took people out. Now, excuse I'm watching. Me. Uh, I'm, I'm just waiting. Send uh, this quick death threat. Sorry, continue. <laughs> I'm watching a, I guess it's a series. It's called Chicago Med and it's uh, continuing. You know, it's an episodic s series. But they do an angle on that show about every five minutes. But they don't let you get bored. And it's all inside of a hospital, and it's in Chicago with all the gunshots and this, that, and the other, and all the I interweaving stories. Yeah, my missus the loves that show. She loves it. She binge-watched it last Does year. she? Yeah, she loves oh, it. Oh, I'm, I'm binge-watching it now. I, I can't help it. I'm addicted. And then he gets to the last episode, and I say, I can't wait. Wait a minute. This is the last one. Damn it. Yeah, but you're not sending them death threats when, you know, like, whoever, I don't know, they write in a script that someone has a heart attack and drops. And it's mm, the, it's crazy. The same, it's the, but it's the same thing. Okay, let's talk about this. Who is the number one merchandise seller? Cody? Um... Uh, I can't remember the list. I can't find the list. Cody was very high. Austin may have been second. No, but but now it's Cody. I th I th I can't remember. I think it probably was Cody Rhodes. We did this list like two three months ago. I can't remember. But yeah, I think Cody was, if not top, second. Well, who would be top? Steve Austin. Still. I think I think it was Cody Rhodes first, and then Steve Austin second. Yeah. Wow. You would think after all this time he's been gone and his sales would be certainly not at number two. Hmm. Well, that surprises me. Well, he still owned the Stone Cold name, so I figured that they push his uh, merchandise quite hard still because, the, I mean, they'll have to give Steve Austin a cut, but I think WWE still probably own the Steve Austin, uh, sorry, the uh, Stone Cold name. Mm-hmm. Thank you.